Hello everyone, welcome once again to another edition of Harold's Two Cents. Man, this past weekend was a pretty strange episode, but I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, um, great matches. I mean, you had, uh, first up, you had Baron Bullard, my homeboy, the Pembroke Pitbull, Baron Bullard, against Picture Perfect, or should I say Picture Unperfect, Xavier Rush. Man, what a matchup that one was. Um, I mean, Baron, I mean, he gave... He gave it all he had, man. But in the end, you know, Xavier getting the better of him. But that's okay. Baron, you might have lost that time. But you know what? There's always a next time, buddy. Um, I do have to call you. And Aaron, I hate to do this to you. But I do have to call you on something. Um, you kind of made a mistake um, last night. Um, when you said uh, that... Daniel Messina got his first win on Midnight Mayhem 2 against uh, Baron Bullard, but uh, actually it was Sean Cruz that he beat um, on Midnight Mayhem at um, Salemburg. Um, because uh, in Daniel's match with Baron Bullard, uh, Daniel lost, um, going back to Lumberton Gymnastics, um, where Baron Bullard beat the living crap out of Daniel, um, but in the end, you know, Daniel crying like a baby, but, you know, anyway, um, next match, uh, I mean, but Aaron, next match, uh, hated to do that to you, Aaron, but, you know, you kind of made a mistake, but I had to kind of call you on it, um, but, uh, Anyway, um, next match you had Trey G against Daniel Messina. Um, man, what pretty good match up there for the Dirty South Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Title. Um, man, I mean, Trey G giving it all he had. Man, <laughs> I thought he had it in the bag for a minute, but Daniel, Daniel, he got another win. Messina actually got another win. I mean, but, uh, you know, and then, uh, you know, Brock Knox, I mean, looks like Brock, I mean, honestly have to say, looks like Brock had a bad night. I mean, first his, uh, elevator coming up from the lair with Daniel wasn't working then next thing you know uh, Daniel's baby apparently makes a bomb according to Daniel and gives it and uh, Daniel gives it a uh, to Brock Knox and next thing you know I mean you know Brock's Brock tried to get rid of the bomb I have to honestly say that but uh in the end, Brock the couldn't get rid of the bomb. That's all I can say. But uh, mm. you know, I mean, hated to see Brock go out like that. I mean, but you know, but I mean, the question also is, you know, what does the future hold for Midnight Mayhem? Uh, But, uh, but Brock, I can honestly say, buddy, I mean, you will be missed, you know, like you or hate you, you know, you will definitely be missed. <laughs> 